So whether you're a fan of sports or you're a fan of documentaries, you're probably aware of ESPN's 30 for 30 series, which started with the 30th anniversary of ESPN and continues to this day. Well, with that library being ripped away from Netflix, Netflix decided to make their own. Enter Untold, the incredibly biased, ill-reported docu-series that really no one talks about except for its function as clickbait. And Untold's latest episode, The Girlfriend Who Didn't Exist, explores exploits <coughs> the Manti Teo Linnea Kakua death hoax. Von Joke Vlog. But before we get started, I want to give a quick mention to my friends over at Caldera Lab. The clean slate, the base layer, the good, the deep. Their whole routine will have you rolling back the clock. Use my promo code FRY15 and save 15% at checkout. Throughout the two parts, you get a very sympathetic view of Manti Teo. You see that he is a very upstanding Christian such a good role model, he felt that an online and sometimes over the phone communication with someone was enough to call that person a girlfriend and dedicate a season in her memory. It should be quite clear that he wasn't in on the hoax, he was simply naive. But the documentary is directed in an angle in which questions are raised. Was Manti involved? Did he use this as a publicity stunt to heighten his Heisman Trophy possibilities? No fellow teammates are interviewed? The coach of Notre Dame isn't interviewed, the closest you can get is athletic director. But the real damage is done in the other half of this documentary's telling. From the perspective of Ronaya, the predatory catfishing perpetrator who stole images of a girl he knows and made up an online identity to try to bait men he was attracted to. Oh, but he gets to be a sympathetic character because he's in the closet and that was the right thing to do, but I did this. <laughs> now I'm wearing a dress and weigh 300 pounds. Worship me. I'm so brave. I'm telling my story. There is a recurring narcissistic element within the LGBT. There's just no remorse. I did what I did because I was struggling with my identity crisis. Anyone else who gets hurt, that's inconsequential. I don't hear much in the way of an apology here. We never brought the parties together. In fact, Manti and his family are unaware of Rania's Tanaya transition, which really tells you that the people making this documentary wanted it to go a certain way. They didn't want an actual confrontation. It was purposely set up to avoid disparaging remarks about the LGBT community. So while our victim, Manti Teo, has questions raised about whether or not he was in on the hoax, uh, you know, he's just some naive religious guy, look what happened to him, it's funny, our egotistical predator is painted as a hero, avoiding any kind of blame and receiving all the spotlight. And this isn't the first untold, completely subjective garbage masquerading as a documentary. I watched their one on the Malice in the Palace, where the entire goal was to justify Ron Artest's behavior by saying, mental health, yeah, let's never interview the innocent fan he assaulted. Let's just say Ron Artest, uh, mental health, yeah, not really a mistake, he doesn't have to apologize. And this being only the second untold I've seen, both being propaganda, I have no further reason to continue. What is your take on The Girlfriend Who Didn't Exist or The Untold series in general? Let me know in the comments below and please make sure you hit that like button. This channel is a one-man operation from Kansas, which means Google is doing everything they can to keep my voice unheard. Thank you for watching my son's YouTube station. It's not for everyone, but he tries. Maybe if you bought some merch below, he'll eventually get good at the YouTubing.